The first question asked in this problem is about the acceleration in part A. No, I'm sorry, the first question they ask is about the force. So we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And they told us the mass, but we don't know the acceleration. And they didn't tell us much information other than something about time and something about speed. So that means we need to go to kinematics. So I have this kinematics equation, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 half at squared. I know that x naught is 0 because they didn't tell me something awkward about where it started. I know that v naught is 0 because it says it starts from rest. So that means that x equals 1 half at squared and a is equal to 2x over t squared. So I can calculate the acceleration using this, multiply by mass, and I have the force. But I'm going to keep this acceleration for later. In this part of the problem, they, um, they're asking you about the power at certain times. So uh, one formula we have for power is force times velocity. And I think I'm going to use that because I just calculated the force. So my force is the mass ex times acceleration from before, but velocity I again have to get from kinematics. This time I'm going to use this equation, v equals v naught plus at because I just calculated the acceleration, so I know that. The v naught is still zero because it starts from rest, and so that tells me that v is equal to at. And I know that the force is mass times acceleration. <clears throat> so for this problem, force is mass times acceleration. The v is at. So that means I'm going to be calculating mass times acceleration squared times the time. 